The trackside atmosphere doesn't get much better than this, so join us as we capture all the fun and excitement on BMW Caulfield Cup Day. The David Jones marquee was a place to be as we caught up with some familiar faces. Now that I've retired completely, I can enjoy myself at all these sort of sporting events, so I'll get to a bit more golf, I'll get to a lot more racing and yeah, just be able to be a bit more relaxed about everything and not worry about having to get up and train tomorrow morning or have a game in a couple of days, so it's, it's good fun. I love Caulfield especially because it's just an introduction to the races and it's a time when everyone can dress up and have fun and obviously this is such a, a great um, iconic event for, for Melbourne and I love Melbourne. I've got some nice tips off Emma <laughs> and I've had a lovely glass of bubbly so I'm good. I thought I'd channel Bridget Bardot today with a bit of just a centimetre or so of midriff and then the bang so kind of having fun playing with those at the moment. The Chadston Fashion Stakes final shone with Viviana Parrish taking out the 18 to 40 stylish ladies title. I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, there was so many beautiful, beautiful contestants here today and it's it's just, I don't know, I'm shocked to be honest. Regarded as one of the toughest mile and a half races in the world, this year's Caulfield Cup was an open affair starring Chris Waller's Hawkspur, Royal Descent, international visitor Dan Dino and New Zealand's silent achiever heading the top four in the betting market. Jet away still the leader for Mr O'Karen, Mr Mowat getting over their heels, running on his Royal Descent silent achiever, Faulkner's coming down the outside, Jet away at the 150, is in front of Dear Demi the inside and Faulkner, Faulkner swapping them out wide in the Caulfield Cup, Faulkner's raced up and grabbed them and Faulkner's got up to win from Dear Demi. He's such a special horse to me too, um, but more than that, they have prepared him to an absolute second and he produced it today, there was doubt, was on the distance, all this sort of stuff, but um, in the back of our minds, we always were very, very optimistic. Uh, we got one in the more in the trophy cabinet that uh, the Williams family don't have, and I got one up on the old man, so it was an important one. Well, that was a perfectly timed run by Nick Hall to score the Caulfield Cup with Faulkner for Lloyd Williams. Six-time Aria Award winners, the living end, rocked it out after the last, ending the day on a high. All the action now turns to Mooney Valley for the Cox Plate Carnival, kick-starting this Friday night with the running of the Group 1 Manicato Stakes. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.